Hello, my name is Kristen Darmody, and I work on the Oregon Health Authority's accessibility team. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm a white person wearing a dark purple turtleneck. In this video, I will explain how to use the accessibility kit from OHA so you can provide a positive experience for individuals with disabilities. It's important to know that your accessibility kit provides some tools, but will not solve every accessibility need that you may encounter. Think of it as a starting point and be ready to keep learning more. People are the experts in their own experience. An individual who requests accommodation will have an idea about what works best for them. Be open to learning and work with people to identify what they need. You can work together to ensure they have a good experience. There are four main things you can do to improve accessibility to vaccines using your kit. First, when you receive your kit, we recommend that you label all the items with your organization's name. These items are yours now, and they are meant to be taken out and used. Labeling them will help you get familiar with what's in your kit and will ensure that you don't lose them. Second, we recommend that you identify someone in your organization who can be the lead for accessibility. This person can be responsible for knowing where the accessibility kit is, what's in it, and how to use each item. Be the person on site to answer questions if staff or volunteers need support. Take a regular inventory of the items and contact OHA with questions or concerns. Third, we recommend that you train all staff and volunteers about accessibility and what is available in your kits. Your accessibility lead staff person would be a great person to lead this training. They can show staff and volunteers the kit and its contents. Make sure everyone has been briefed on how to identify and respond to accessibility needs using items in each kit. Implement a process so folks know how to get kit materials the moment they need them. Make sure everyone knows that they are expected to clean and return items after use. And finally, you can use signs or direct questions to invite people to tell you when they have an accessibility need. We recommend asking everyone this question as they arrive. What support do you need to get your vaccine today? This invites people to self-identify what they need, and it saves you from making assumptions. Be prepared to use your kit to meet these needs or to get creative, working with the individual to find a solution that works for them. With training and practice, you'll be ready to make every interaction an accessible one. Thank you for taking a moment to learn more about your accessibility kit. We look forward to hearing how it helped you have an accessible event in your community. Share your stories at ucedd at ohsu .edu. This video series is brought to you by Oregon Health Authority and the OHSU University Center for Excellence in Developmental Disabilities. If you want to learn more about accessibility and COVID-19, please visit us here, www.healthoregon.org slash coronavirus.